and welcome back folks and today we're going to be working on an exploded view of an exacto knife we have an orthographic orthographic view up at the top here at the bottom here you'll see there's an isometric view so let's get started here's all my practice stuff let's find a nice spot here where we can go ahead and start this orthographic view Going to move into drafting and annotation and start with the line tool. Ortho is turned on. Overall length of 3 and 13 sixteenths. There we go. Looking at a height here of 5 sixteenths. Bring that right on back and link that up to the end. And there you go. Start of the side view. Now, there's this little piece right here. Comes right off the end. Let's go ahead and draw that in now. Back to the modeling screen. Looking at a length of 3 sixteenths for this one. And a temporary line coming out here at 116. Now we'll go ahead and use the move tool. Go right back from the center. Turn off the ortho. Connect it right to the end there. Line tool. Bring that angle in. Do the same over here. And now we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, now we want to go ahead and put this little textured area right in here. Oops. So the first line is 1 and 3 sixteenths. So we're going to go ahead and offset that line right there. 1 and 3 sixteenths. And click that line. There we go. Now we've got to have another line up here. One and five eighths down. Let's go ahead and put the offset tool on. Distance of one and five eighths. There we go. Go ahead and save that. Now, going up here to the hatch tool. And put down full menu. I'm feeling like uh, 36 today. Let's put 36 in. Go ahead and click on inside there. And let's make that a bit of a smaller scale. So we'll go to the scale tool. 0.25. Beautiful. Go ahead and save. And that wraps up our side view.